All right, guys, the cat's out of the bag. Look who I found. <laughs> hey, hey, Keith, here we Welcome are. Welcome to Keith. All right, let the journey begin of informing the world of all the truth we can. Welcome, Johnny. Stage one complete. Stage one complete, like we Stage promised. Two. Here we go, guys. Now, we've moved from the train station to an unknown Georgian restaurant. <laughs> and look, if we could just get Dr. Curtis, we would have the, you're invited, Professor Sweater. <laughs> anyway, uh, just amazing. So here's Johnny, here's Rick, and uh, sharing a meal together. Happy to meet you, Johnny. <laughs> This is, but you know, to be quite honest, guys, to be quite honest, all this does is validate all these communities coming together that are helping Ukraine in a massive, massive way. I mean, like, not glory to anything we do, but we really are real people, and we really are here in Ukraine together. Transparency. Really, yes. So, thank you, guys. We're, we're doing what we said we would do. Thank you so much. Also, I wanted to add that I want to thank you, Johnny, for coming to Ukraine, for doing uh, all that you do to support us. This is really important. Coming here and having the experience yourself, seeing it with your own eyes, it changes a lot. And believe me, uh, this will also change a lot for your community, uh, for you personally. So thank you so much for coming. And you're... You're amazing, man. I'm so happy that I met you. <laughs> well, Rick, you know, you, man. I was I was telling Johnny earlier, and see if you agree with this, and then I'm going to eat my soup, but Johnny's brilliant geopolitically, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Huge following, brilliant. But when we take him on this run now, all over Ukraine, think about the level of his understanding now, looking at that map, looking at the geopolitics, understanding the terrain, seeing the reality, his analysis is going to go to a completely different level. That's actually so, what I'm talking about. Exactly. It's, change it's, it, it's going to change a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, thank you, guys. Yeah, there's there's nothing to, to beat first-hand experience, you know, yeah. even if it's a, a horrific thing, mm -hmm. so to, to give you that holistic understanding. And, and you know, we, I can put things together in my brain and intellectually about this and that happening, but then experiencing it just gives you that complete picture, and, and that's what you I. You know, um, I'm gonna do something now that so many of your community want to do. Are you ready? I kiss Johnny's bald head. Spam, <laughs> the spam, got some love. It's about time. Didn't get enough love, my spam. Oh, and by the way, guys. Be, be thankful for where you're at today. Rick, just in 30 seconds, you had a close call today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I won't say I uh, have the second birth, nothing like that, because it, it was only a few hundred meters away from me. But anyway, I feel most alive, <laughs> you know, when close to death. I, I think all of us do. So yeah. you, you had some rocket strikes. Rocket strikes. Rocket strikes. Close to your house. Yeah, close to my house. Um, just a few hundred meters away. It was scary. Uh, last wave was pretty loud. Uh, but when I have waken up after one more hour of sleep after that uh, and seen nightmares about that also, <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've been happy and like thanking, you're alive. Thanking the universe. Yeah, you, know, you think the universe on this side? On this side. On my side, you think? God, you thank yeah, God. There you go. <laughs> But, you know, I still believe... This is going to be an interesting vote for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Well, you see, I, I actually say that. Uh, I sometimes say Bible. I thank God, but yeah. uh, I still... Um, I don't want to be pushed on any side. Yes, that's why you're <laughs> in, the in the middle. middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in the middle. He is. Actually, yeah. actually, my community is also bringing me a lot of interesting, you know, the Nordic people, yes. people my friends. Uh, they are bringing me stories of uh, Valhalla and Odin, yes. and this is so attractive also. So there's a We're all learning. Side. We're all learning. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, hopefully this validates to you this community and team effort that we're all a part of. The best is yet to come. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here, guys. So happy to meet you. Thank you for uh, widening my horizon, widening, right? That's probably the, the word. Uh, we're all a team. Yeah, and we're rolling, and we're going to roll to even better 
Before you break. We're rollers. Yep. We're rollers. rollers. Okay. Hey, let's give you his first one, okay? Uh, Slava Ukraini. Slava Ukraini. Slava. It's perfect. <laughs> 18, Jonathan M.S. Pierce here, coming to you today with your live update in regard to the current situation on the geopolitical avenues of the war in Ukraine. No, 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 that's not my part. I'm Dr. Energy, but look what I found back there. Hello, team. <laughs> it's me, Jonathan M.S. Pierce, speaking to you from a truck somewhere in Ukraine. We it, are yeah. working together to bring you accurate information about what is going on and uh, we've got a lot in store for you over the next week or so. So guys, thank you. Back over here is Pierre. Welcome, Hi, Pierre. Hello. He is going to be a huge support for us. And he also serves here in Ukraine, in eastern Ukraine. And um, he helps the heroes in a massive way. And of course, Eugenia over here rolling as always. And the king is in the house here with yeah. all of us. Nothing. But guys... For today, you've seen us um, get Johnny there at the, at the train station. Of course, you guys, you're not clueless. That's Kiev. And then we had um, a nice lunch time there with Rick that you've seen. And yes, you heard the story already about how Rick's building um, is very close to being hit today. And it's just the reality of what happens here. Jania's already been talking to Johnny and to Pierre and says, okay, guys, just be reminded you're in a war zone and at any moment anything can happen we can be one second looking like normal and the next second we can be in complete terror so um, we do our best to avoid that for the remainder of this evening we will be driving and moving toward a, a front line area and of course we can't disclose those positions for OPSEC or Ops Operational Security, Security, but you will be seeing all kind of stuff. You're going to be learning. You're going to be experiencing it with us. And you know, kind of that comment that we made there at the lunch, I think is worth repeating one more time before I push this video out. And that is this: we stand together. Johnny back there, and guys, you know that dude is a hero. Coming here, um, he doesn't have to. And to have that desire, that dude is a hero. And I'm telling you guys right now that over the next week or so, that man's life is going to be rocked in a very positive way. And Johnny's gift of geopolitics and analysis is going to be taken to a completely new level um, that's going to benefit all of us together. As we were there with Rick, the Ukrainian, and then, of course, Zhenya, the Ukrainian, two Brits and an American, um, I hope that we're demonstrating that we're here where the rubber meets the road. We do our best to be your eyes and your ears, your hands and your feet, but we could do nothing that we're doing without you. So thank you. We are here. We are rolling. And uh, be ready at any moment whether it be on my channel or Johnny's channel at ATP Geopolitics or Rick's or anybody else's, just keep those notification bells on because at any moment we can drop some videos. We do have a full setup here where we are always connected to the best of our abilities. Um, but thank you for all that you do. You guys um, have a great day wherever you're at. Slava Ukraina. Yeah, right. Woo! Look at these guys go. Have a good day.